Hey guys, it's Michelle with ML Hawkins Art. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been on my channel before. I was looking to do something a little different with this video. Basically, in my past videos, I've just had music going, but I wanted to go ahead and at least do a voiceover this time, kind of talk about things and put a, at least a voice to the art. Um, also, I initially started this channel just to do art, but then I also got into Cricut Crafting, which is why my title also has Cricut Crafts in it as well, and I will be uploading videos of tutorials or just videos of me working on stuff. Um, soon I plan on uploading a video getting on the bandwagon of glittering ornaments and decorating those, so that'll be up in the next week or so. This is uh, taking quite a bit of time for me to get this just right because I've never done the recording video before. I am actually recording this in my editing program and watching it, watching the video on a different screen because the video in my program that I use to edit videos is a bit laggy. So to get the real time voice, well, not real time, but the voiceover correct with the timeline that I have, that was the best way to do it. Uh, speaking of programs, um, I do not use Adobe um, at all for Photoshop or the editing software. It is a great program, do not get me wrong, and I thought about investing in it, but when I found out they changed to doing only monthly or yearly and you can't just buy the program, I did some research extensively and I found um, an editing software for my videos and I use Wondershare Filmora 9 for that and then for like any type of Photoshop S type things I use a program called GIMP. Yes you heard that right GIMP. G-I-M-P. <laughs> but they work great and uh, for the Wondershare though I did buy a one-time subscription which was like 60 bucks and I get extended features and that was all I had to spend on this program. Uh, so to talk a little bit about the uh, the drawing um, in, in intervals here, um, this drawing took me about a total of six and a half, seven hours. Um, I did take breaks in between. Uh, one thing you will also notice, um, especially later on in the video when it comes to the coloring, there are some parts that I did not edit them out. It was my camera shut off and I was unable to um, to catch it in time because of the way I have it set up on my desk as an overhang for when I do my art. So I do apologize for that. I'm still working on the setup for that. Also, my Canon camera, it's a wonderful camera for recording, but it only does it in 30 second intervals. So I did not do the proper research on that, unfortunately. But again, it's a work in progress. I am still new to all of this. Um, so yeah, and the other thing about this drawing as it's inking, uh, or as I'm inking it, um, this particular ink that I did on camera is not the same one that I colored. I was not happy with the way the inking turned out for the recorded one, so I just off camera did the recording, or oh, sorry, not recording, off camera re-inked it, and that's the one I used when I did my colors. I, um, I also, to tell you a little bit about my process, is I use sketch obviously sketchbook paper, but I use just regular notebook sketch paper to do my sketch. I also use a light box to trace the drawing onto better paper. Um, the paper I'm using in this video, it's the eight by 11 copy paper actually that is cardstock. I like it because it is not textured. Things blend a, uh, a lot better. I use Prismacolor pencils and Copics. So it just kind of helps um, especially since I'm still new to all of this, it helps kind of ease the transition for it. I do also on some other type of final drawing paper um, that I have, um, I have blending smudging sticks and I also use a thinner. Um, it's a low odor thinner by Dollar and Rowney. Uh, and, you know, I just use that, dip the little smudger in and then I kind of blend the colors. Um, but uh, 
Yeah, so that is kind of part of my process and how I do my drawings. And um, if you want a, a better tutorial on that or uh, questions on what kind of light box I use, what materials I use, please feel free to leave a comment below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Um, again, I am still kind of a beginner at this. I mean, I've been drawing since I could pick up a pencil. <laughs> but as far as this extensive stuff, um, I'm, I'm still learning. Um, but I also go by the, the Bob Ross of you know, happy little accidents, you know, no artist, no painter, or, you know, anime uh, fan art person or crafter is 100% perfect in their drawings. Now me, I am a perfectionist, but I know nothing's ever 100%. Looking at my drawing, uh, speaking of perfection, the hands to some that are more advanced than me may see a lot of flaws in my hands which I'm sure there are but Naruto's hands turned out really well and I say that for my status of how that part of the anatomy I have a hard time getting the motion and everything just right so I and I even showed this to a friend and they were like wow that's really good you can't even tell that you know you're still kind of a beginner at this um you know, which made me feel really good knowing that they look good to somebody else. But like I said, to somebody who's been doing this a lot longer, they're going to have a different opinion. Maybe or not. I don't know. They may see it's good. Um, and I am very open to constructive criticism and more, you know, to learn, critique, to, you know, I want to better my art. But again, I also am a cricket crafter. I like doing um, gifts for friends, family. Um I do keychains. I can do, I love doing sticker sheets, which I also will talk about in another video, the program I use to create my stickers. Uh, the name is Procreate. I'm sure a lot of you um, are familiar with it. And those of you who aren't, um, again, leave a comment. I'd be happy to go over the program for you. Um, I've become quite uh uh quite knowledgeable with Procreate, even since its recent update. And um yeah, so this is, uh, again, this is very new, uh, but I I want to continue doing videos on and off. Um, I am a stay-at-home mom. I do have three kids, and, you know, so I do what I can. I know my videos have been kind of sporadic on my channel, but I'm, I'm hoping to go to at least one video a week to start. Um, again, I want to try and do more voiceovers, um, tutorials. Again, if you leave a comment on, you know, my materials I use, or if there's, you know, certain type of craft that you want to know I can do, can't do, and you want to see a video on it, um, or, or whatnot, I'd be more than happy to, uh, again, accommodate and see what I can do and uh, go from there. Uh, I want to expand my horizons. I want to learn. I want to grow. The reason why I started on this YouTube journey is because over the years I have watched many, many YouTubers who, you know, started out just like me, you know, and yeah, I'm kind of starting late in the game. Honestly, I started real late because of when COPPA started going into effect. I, you know, my husband said, wait until we know for sure. And the COPPA thing, it's still there, but now it's just different in how we um, update our stuff and whatnot. So um, I am running low on time with this, but I do want to, uh, again, do more like this in the future. I'm actually going to do a video. My next video will probably be an upload of how I do the ornaments. And, and do not uh, get me wrong, I'm still fairly new to Cricut as well. I got it originally to do stickers and I got all set up for that. Um, but then I started doing legit crafts. I've made shadow boxes. I've made uh, tumblers. I also do tumblers, which I would like to do a few tutorials on those as well for the epoxy and everything like that. So I do hope that uh, those of you who are visiting my channel or watching this video, I do hope you enjoy it and will subscribe, like, and share because I would like to create more stuff like this and see where this goes. I am very much, I want to get my work out there just, you know, for people to view as a learning experience and everything like that. 
So without better ado, I hope that everybody has a blessed day, week, month, and I hope to see you back and hope uh, you will like, share, and subscribe, as I said before, so I can continue to bring you um, bring you videos. I Again, everybody, take care, have a blessed day, and happy crafting, everybody.